everybody, it's me, Kathy Griffin, and I'm doing um, what I call a State of the Union YouTube video. So I hope you watch this on YouTube. It'll probably be like about five minutes. Um, what's the date? No, Saturday, November 18th. It's Saturday, November 18th, 2017. I kind of lose track because I'm on a world tour. All right, so what I want to address today is I'm getting a lot of online hate from trolls who think I've lost my mind. And um, I'm admitting I lost my mind. It's what made me a star in the first place. But I just want to be honest, like, as far as what we're going through and hoping this is a turning point for feminism and women's equality, <clears throat> pardon me, I just want you to know that at 57, for me, it's not a marathon. It's a sprint. So I don't have a lot of time to be patient. And, you know, I read today that my pal Lena Dunham is sticking up for some male writer that was accused of sexual harassment. And her female partner, Jenny Connor, who Judd Apatow handpicked for her, and nobody's ever handpicked anybody for me. You know, I don't know the details, but my first instinct is, girl, that's not helping the movement. And it's a movement. And the sun is coming out of the clouds as I say that. So, you know, don't be too hard on Lena. Don't be too hard on me. Um, and I just want you guys to know, I'm fully in the middle of a blacklist. Like, I am in the middle of a Hollywood blacklist. It is real. I am not booked on any talk shows. I'm selling tickets worldwide, which is really hard when you don't have any kind of a television platform and kind of nobody has your back and everyone thinks you're crazy. But a handful of people think I'm kind of on to something. So I just want you guys to know when I get home, I do not have one single day of paid work in front of me. And people that want me to go back and start in clubs and do 10 minutes again, I don't mean to be an asshole, but no, I'm not going to do that. I've worked way too hard to go back and work for free and do the club scene again because this is some bullshit because I've been blacklisted. So I actually got another fundraising email from the great Norman Lear and I just had to write back and go, yeah, none of you can ask me for money anymore. Okay, my legal bills are through the roof, obviously because I'm doing something I really believe in. And I still say the end goal is for younger women and younger LGBT folks or disenfranchised people of any kind can watch me survive and with a sense of humor. So I just wanna say like, I have a show tonight in Vienna. I never thought I'd be able to play Vienna. Um, every single country I've played, I can't believe that there are hundreds if not thousands of people that don't even speak English as their first language, as if I do. That's my opener. Um, and I'm very heartened by that. So um, there is hope out there. Uh, there's a lot of forces coming against people like me that are trying to do something. I mean, look at Harvey Weinstein hired Kroll. By the way, Nick Kroll's dad started that company, Nick, so he doesn't have to worry about money. And some company called Black Cube to like follow Rose McGowan. So, you know, I'm kind of assuming I'm next. I'm already on the Interpro list and all this other stuff. So I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. So watch me do it, hopefully with a plum and a sense of humor. And I'm on stage tonight at 8.30. I cannot wait to do my show. I only have seven more shows left on this tour. And I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be hard when I go home and I don't have one show in my future. So no, I don't do, I know I'm being an asshole, but no, I don't want to do free shows. I don't want to do someone's 50 person club. I did that for decades. I think I should be able to get my life back. So I know I took a picture that offended a lot of people, but this wall of crap has never fallen on any woman in the history of America like it has on me. So, and by the way, I know about Eartha Kitt and I very much encourage you to look her up. But even Eartha Kitt didn't have like Fox News <laughs> Although, by the way, I'm bowing down to Eartha Kitt and anyone else who's ever been blacklisted. So just, you guys, just try to have some compassion. I'm just trying to bring laughter to people. That's all I want to do. I wish I was on television. I have two Emmys, which apparently doesn't mean anything. Um, the Hollywood Reporter did a really cool cover about like not shutting women up. And that same publication disinvited me from hosting or doing the opening remarks of their famous annual breakfast. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting bullshit from all sides here, but I still am so excited to hit the stage tonight and I would love to be on a television show and I want to be paid what the guys are paid. So that's where I'm coming from. 
All right, so I hope you'll have some faith. I know my social media is getting a little crazy, but why not? And you know my new title, the mayor of zero fucksville, zero. Hope you've enjoyed.